Horses are on the track in front of the post for the 11th race, claiming handicap pace of one mile, a purse of $4,500. Win play show exact to trifecta wagering first half of the late daily double. A field of eight, no changes. The one is Miraculous Viking, owned by Carsey of Connorsville, Indiana, and Luther of Gehanna, Ohio, trained by Robert Carsey with Kyle Wader. Number two is Noble Strike, owned by Harry Alltop of Urbana, Ohio, Kim Dingledine of Mechanicsburg, Ohio, trained and driven by Jim Daly. Number three is Glenview Fretz, owned by Eddie Poing and Daniel Stone of Lebanon, Ohio, trained by Eddie Poing with Dave Hawk. Number four is Town Dance, owned by Barnett Zimmerman Limited Liability Company of Deerfield, Illinois, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., the Red Hot, the Grizz, Greg Grismore. Number five is Sam's Megabucks, owned by Wallace Osborne of Columbus, Ohio, trained by Mike Metters, Jason Brewer. Number six is Star Prospect, owned and trained by David Lowe of Mechanicsburg, Ohio, with Danny Noble. Number seven is Nick Austin, owned by the bed stable of Sunbury, Ohio, trained by Daryl Hoosier with the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. And for the outside of the eight is Windbreaker, owned by Clarence, you can call me Sonny Dong of Orient, Ohio, trained and driven by Bob Harper, Ian the Sulky. That's the field for the 11th race. Moving in behind the gate, a field of eight. Swings to the back stretch. They're in the hands of the starter. To kick off the late Daily Double, field in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside. There goes Star Prospect in between horses. That is Town Dance. Up on the inside in third, that is Glenview Fritz. As they race around the first turn and over to the opening quarter, and Star Prospect has been placed on the front end here forwardly by Danny Noble. To the inside, Glenview Fritz has yielded for a garden spot, racing in two. Along the rail, Town Dance has come away, racing in third. Fourth on the inside, that is Nick Austin by the opening quarter in 26 and two. Fifths. And on top of the field, Star Prospect is fired up once again. Leads it here by length and a quarter. Glenview Fritz is right there, nose to helmet, racing in second, rolling under the wire with five eighths of a mile remaining. Third, that is Town Dance. Fourth is Noble Strike. Then we come back to Miraculous Viking, underway on the outside of there. That is Nick Austin, a ground saving journey as they race around the clubhouse turn. Sam's Megabucks in seventh and eighth and trilling the field. Windbreaker as they race by the half. They're halfway home in a wicked 55 and four fifths. Off the turn and driving down the backside and Star Prospect and Danny Noble's got him under a huge hold but he's still going on. Into the inside, nose to helmet seriously here in second is Glenview Fritz. First over the rim, racing in third. That is Town Dance. Up on the outside, racing in fourth. That is Sam's Megabox as they race down the backside on top of the field. Now trying to clear to the front. Town Dance and Town Dance sticks three parts of a length in front through three quarters and one twenty-four and four fifths. Town Dance with three, but now by the outside, a menacing second, Sam's Mega Bucks, and now ready to swing up three wide from third. Here comes Miraculous Viking, off the turn to the top of Power Alley in less than an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come. On top, Sam's Mega Bucks has struck the front end here. Glenview Fritz has shook loose and is coming to him along with Miraculous Viking, who is charging hard on the outside. Miraculous Viking is getting up. Glenview Fritz to go second, third of the mile was the five, Sam's Mega Bucks timed at 154 and 4 fifths miraculous viking Reporting trackside of the winner's circle, the official winner of the 11th race, the one Miraculous Viking. A five-year-old bait gelding by Kentucky Spur out of a Viking Miracle, she by Albatross. Is owned by Carsey of Connorsville, Indiana, and Luther of Gehanna, Ohio. Trained by Robert Carsley, nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Kyle Wader. Third win in 2003, home in 154 and 4 fifths, number one Miraculous Viking.
Again, family day here at Saturday Downs. Gates open at 11 a.m. on Friday, July 4th for barn tours. First barn tour is departing at 11 a.m. The last barn tour will depart at 11.30. There'll be face painters, pony rides,